I'm gonna edit it. Ah, but hey, thank you. A three part series. Three part series. Mm. Three part series. Mm, maybe. What was your favorite gift as a child? From however far back you can remember, what's one of your favorite Christmas gifts? Mm, I think it was my birthday gift. <laughs> Her and this birthday and Christmas thing. It's like. Um, but my lovable, huggable friend. <laughs> this is lovable, huggable friend. Look at her. She used to watch Selena with me. <laughs> and then like um, my granny, which is my grandmother's mom. When I would go to Michigan, she would like sew her up for me. <laughs> she had to have surgery. <laughs> Which is funny, these running stitches that she, she did. Like, it's so sloppy. Why would she do it so sloppy? Because when she, she knew how to sew. To, right. That's so funny. She had to do her best with it. But she was, like, so old, like, trying to sew off this doll. I think she was so a couple of times. So I, don't, so I don't really mess with the stitching because that's my granny did that. Look at that. Isn't that funny? That's lovable. Oh, look. I know. Be careful. She's vintage. <laughs> My kids gotta play with her. <laughs> Comment below. Share your um, favorite gift as a child um, with Miss Cherish Laura. <laughs> it's not that formal over here. What was like your favorite gift as a child? It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas gift if you don't celebrate Christmas. Any gift that that you had um, growing up. Where do you pull most of your inspiration from choosing how to decorate? Mm. So I don't know if they're talking about decorate your house. Well, they're probably talking Different about like decorating for like events. Um, a lot of Pinterest, um, definitely a lot of pin inspiration. Um, when I go out of town, I do a lot of inspiration pulling from there. Who is the hardest person to shop for on your Christmas list? I don't necessarily have like a hard person to shop for um, because we changed up the way that we shop for each other for Christmas. They only spend $30 for Christmas. That's it. I think if I had to choose someone who will be hard to shop for, I will have to say it's my brother Rod. He is the type that likes designer things and I'm not the type to spend designer money. <laughs> Sweet. Like, How many siblings do you have? Mm, too many. <laughs> and they didn't come from here. Too Sit many. So I'm the oldest. And then right under me is my brother Rod, who you have seen in vlogs. Um, we're the same age. We're actually 17 days apart. How? Um, <laughs> so we're 17 days apart. And then it jumps back from to her. And then she has Ayana and Chardonnay. With Char Chardonnay, we call her Char. You have seen in the vlogs. Ayana, you have not seen. I don't, yeah, you haven't seen Ayana, but they're twins. They came from her. I think they are in vitro babies. Yes. She paid a lot of money for them. She did <laughs> to be here, and and then jump back over to my dad's side. It's gonna be my sister Kaylin, who you have met as well. She is right under Ayana and Char, so they are a year apart. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then it jumps back over to my mom's side, which she has, well, I have a brother, his name is Kwame. He was a stillborn, but you still might hear us reference him because he is buried in Michigan. We go visit his grave. We might mention his name here and there. Um, he's also in vitro baby, <laughs> and he also was a twin. <laughs> so, um, love the babies. Try really hard for everybody except for me. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you jump back over to my dad's side, and then I have my brother Ryan and my younger brother Reese. So I have three brothers, four in total. If you, so three alive, four in total, and then sisters, three. Okay. Then we go to step, which I consider my stepdad, my dad. So he has too many kids, but the ones that I claim, which it sounds really bad that I claim, but he's an old man, he has a lot of kids. Uh, my sister Riri, uh, Maisha, LaShayla, 
and and that's pretty much it on that side that i'm like close to like i said he has a lot of kids we're all family here like i don't have any like half siblings because if i have half siblings then i have no holes oh yeah so we don't we don't play that game around here so everyone is is my sibling um she's so good at this because she's didn't. always been a talker always but a lot of people think i'm shy a lot of people think i'm shy i don't think you ever was shy no i'm not shy i'm just reserved it depends on who you are because i'm more reserved until i get to know if i can trust you to talk around you because i'm a i'm a sharer so i will share everything i don't i'm not a secret person right and i don't like to sneak around like even in high school like if i was to skip school i would call her and be like i'm about to skip school <laughs> Because I'd rather tell on myself before someone tells on me. What lessons or growth has 2020 brought you? Mm. Is that you have to do more of what you're put on this earth to do. Amen. I think we all went into the new year being like, Ooh, 2020, you know, give me the vision, give me the vision. <laughs> and then once we got the vision, it's like, oh, <laughs> this year is canceled. It's canceled. I hate 2020. Let me tell you, 2020 has been my favorite year. And it has. Really? It has been my favorite year. One of my, it's in my top three of years. Oh, wow. And it's crazy to say because I have, um, I'm unemployed, um, you know, COVID situation, everyone else has, has been there. During quarantine, I went through a hard time just like everyone else, but I don't think, maybe I'll disclose later or what the hard time was, but, and then lost a close family member. Um, the good just outweighs all the bad that has happened in this year. And I just feel more fulfilled because I feel like I've, I've really like isolated myself and I really sat still and listened to what I'm supposed to do in life. And I think a lot of people have missed that because everyone has been trying to cancel this year that you miss the time that you were supposed to stay still and really like take it in and be like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? Everybody went into panic mode instead of into let me trust and have faith in what I'm supposed to do in life. And I think that um, it's not too late to do that. It doesn't necessarily have to still be in 2020. It can be in 2021 or whenever you feel it's comfortable to just sit and like listen and like really like tap into what you're supposed to do. And I think no matter what happened and what is thrown at you in life, as long as you're like pushing and moving forward into your purpose, it's always gonna be a good year. That's how I feel. Good job, daughter. I would have never thought she would say 2020 was one of her best years. Or to make a movie about yourself. Who would you want to play you? Me! I want to play myself. Like, who, who's going to be me? That's my chance to shine. You know, <gasps> who's going to do my moves like I can do? <laughs> like, direct it, write it, play it, cast it, <laughs> put myself in it. Like, that's that's the perfect movie right there. Who who do you know can do everything? Besides, I can't sing. It's your life model. I just live life. I just keep pushing. There you go. You just no, live I don't life. like that one. That's not a good one. Don't let nobody take you off your game. Life is, is a that, game. Is that it? Or life is a game. I always think life is a game. Like I, like I do everything in like a, a competitive way. Like especially with myself. So like for instance, like if I need to like clean up, I want to be like, how fast can I do this? Like how? Usually by songs. I usually measure my times by songs. Like how many songs? It's gonna take me to do this. Okay, you got five songs to clean up. Really? If I need to take a quick shower, you got one song. That didn't come. From how, how, no, she has no sense of time. If I need to do uh, like my makeup really, really fast, you got two songs, girl, you better hurry up. And like when you can measure your life in songs, it's so much easier. Cause like you're enjoying it, you listen to your favorite song and you're getting it done. Okay, ooh, I know the song is about to end. Let me hurry up. Interesting. Yeah. 
Live your live your life by a song. Is this that not your motto? motto? I think so. You gonna remember it? Live your life by a song. Is that good? It's it's up to you. Doesn't matter. I gotta tweak it a little bit. See everything. Because there, there's be always perfection. a song in my head. If you but have, it's not a perfect. If you haven't thing. noticed, like I can bust out with an eight count anywhere at any time because there's always a song in my head. So I think so. Live your life by a song. Make sure. Measure your life by a song. Measure your life. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to sure I've got these mm -hmm. questions. Live your life. Live your life one song at a time. Live your life. Can you describe a time when you almost gave up and what kept you going? Gave up on life. I don't hmm. think it says gave up on life. Just gave up, period. Like, mm. January 4th, 2013. Getting ready to start my senior year in college, and I get a call on my birthday, on my birthday, saying that for me to start my my last, well, for me to start my senior year, that I will have to give the school twenty one thousand dollars. That that was a time that I felt like I really was going to give up because at that point. I did everything I could. Like I finally was going to a school that I really enjoyed, that I saw like a turnaround with like me working like retail management, things that I was learning in school. It was now relating back to my job and I thought that's what college was about. Um, I was making great grades. I made sure I, I kept on a roll and I had two freaking jobs. <laughs> and I was in a relationship and I kept my social life. I had my own apartment and everything. So I just felt like, for that to happen, um, yeah, it was hard. It was hard. And then it was also like, 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 what do I do? Because at that point in, in life, we, we were still in our heads thinking like, oh, you have to finish college to be successful. And I just felt like I was setting myself up for success. And, and here it is just, it's being taken away from me and there's nothing I can do because only thing I can give the man was was $1,200 and that was my bonus check because at the end of the day, I still have to pay all my bills. Um, also why it was so high, because I went to a private, a private school. But at that point in time in life, I felt like, I felt stuck. I felt like, Whoa. at that point I knew, I knew in life that, that whatever I did, I had to make sure that I was set up because there was no, if I was to fall, there was no cushion to catch me. My mama couldn't help me. None of my dads could help me. And so it was just like, it was just me out there trying, trying to survive this situation where I just wanted to succeed. I was making good grades, but good grades wasn't enough to, to finish. Yeah, so that was a time. But now we know that you really don't have to go to school to be successful. But it, it just, it sucks because it was a waste of money. I mean, no, it wasn't a waste of money. I think college definitely teaches you time management. And I definitely learned time management, how to juggle everything by going to college. I didn't learn that. And knowing that you're fine. <laughs> I, think, I think, well, you are. I think a lot of people yeah. forget that... I mean, take it back to my faith. I mean, you know, he's not gonna put more on, more on you than you can bear. So by knowing that, <laughs> you're okay. Like, this is for everyone. Think of a time, you think of a time that you felt like this was just like it. Like you can't push anymore, you can't do anymore. Like I am done, Jesus, like I can't do anything else. Now thinking of that time, you could have kept going. But we're all here. Yeah, we're all human, but we could have kept going. Anytime you you catch yourself in situations so we're like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. 2020, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Think back on it. Like, is it really, 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 really that bad? Is it, was this year really, really that bad? You don't want me to answer that. I'm sorry, you're alive, to, you look alive to me. It couldn't be. But, it couldn't be that bad. You ain't got Corona to me. Like, I, oh, oh. like it couldn't be that bad. 
you just had a heart monitor on you weren't you didn't have a ventilator on like it's just like it's not that bad it was it's bad okay it's it, it not that it bad it, it wasn't that bad but it was bad out it yeah not you'll be okay that. you'll be okay eventually. i promise you eventually yes you, you'll be okay yes you you always will be okay if, and something we have my dear completed your q a and we will be she will be awaiting more and how do they do that you're so like <laughs> you're not casual Thank y'all so much for but all it's me. <laughs> hey, she's, she's so she, dramatic. She, I just can't. No, it's it, it beats like which way does it go? This way? No. Boop. Do, do, do. Oh. Do, do. Click. So much for watching. This video has been extremely, extremely long. Uh. Lots to do on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna edit it. Ah. Thank you thank you so much for leaving the comments that you have left me over on instagram and on facebook if you want to know how to leave comments to these q a's if you want to be a part of it next time make sure that you are following me over on instagram i'm going to do better in the 2021 year on posting more on there it's hard Ugh, i hate What's posting 2021 no that's subscribers so yeah. my script we're going to get to 2021 subscribers in the new year. That is going to be the goal. We are going to push, 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 push. But hey, I, like I said, I cannot do it without you. So thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you have done and support and for watching these vlogs. Y'all, <laughs> y'all have kept up with Vlogmas. I can't believe I have dished out so many videos. I think when it's all said and done, when Vlogmas is over, I think I missed one video. I could try to push for another one, but hey, I'm just going to be real with you. I, I, I can't. Hey, you I'm, said I'm, you I'm, got it in you. Do one more. I'm, I don't have it in me. I'm telling, <laughs> I'm telling you now, I'm being real and honest. You have to know your limits. I know my limit. I don't have it in me to put out another vlog. I can't do it. I think so, do it. um, I think she can do it. if I was to do it, then that means I'm going to miss part of family time tomorrow. And I do want to vlog tomorrow. So, um, you, you gotta know, you gotta know your limits here and I know my limit and I know how I have reached it, but I am very proud of myself for being a first time YouTuber and for doing vlogmas. Like that's been crazy. I can't believe y'all have watched 20 whatever vlogs so far. Like I entered my home through this whole month of December and I am so thankful that you have. I will continue to, um, put out content for you. But make sure that you are checking make sure that you are subscribed don't forget to like this video i know it's hard to like i know liking is hard because you probably just like on your phone you're probably watching it on your laptop tablet on your tv and that it's hard to go back and just click on like but hey it helps it helps other people see my video so that therefore you don't have to put in as much effort get it so thank you thank you april for being here Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.